Cool. So I'll show you guys exactly how Wonder AI works, um, why you should choose Wonder AI over doing everything manually. Um, then we'll go into pricing and things like that and how to get started. So um, I have my trusty slideshow prepared for you guys. So let me go ahead and pull that up. So you guys want to automate your print on demand or e-commerce business with Wonder AI. The cool thing is um, you don't have to be necessarily a software engineer to get this thing going. It's relatively easy to set up um, with no coding required. So who's this for? It's for anybody that's interested in starting a print on demand business, but lack the resources, maybe the time, maybe the skills, you know, so many things that, you know, somebody could lack in order to get started. Um, maybe you're a drop shipper already and you're looking to sell branded products and reduce shipping times. Maybe you're a creator trying to sell merchandise to your audience. Maybe you already sell on different marketplaces and you want to kind of just revamp and, you know, add more marketplaces to your, um, to your business. And then lastly, you understand that timing is everything. AI is still relatively new. Not everybody has grasped how to use it just yet. So you guys would definitely be getting in at the right time before everything goes to fully automated in the future. So having these skills now is only going to better prepare yourself for the future in that regard. So we're going to talk about a few different things that I mentioned earlier, just how the system works, how the automation platform works, and how you can get your own designs, your own types of products on your websites. Now, let's talk about traditional print on demand. So how people normally would conduct business with this. So the old way, this is my friend. His name is Bruce. Bruce, as you can see, is very frustrated. He's um, he's wanting to have some type of passive income stream, but he quickly realized all that's involved with doing it um, to where that part time passive income really turns into a full time thing. Because uh, you have to be a designer or at least hire a designer to create your products, be a copywriter to write product descriptions, captions, titles, all these different things. Um, he has to be an SEO expert to rank his products on social media and the marketplace platforms, be a marketer. And obviously all those things take a lot of time, right? And most people are working a traditional nine to five or some type of career. And they don't necessarily have a lot of time to dedicate to something like this which is the reason why I think a lot of people fall short or give up or just get burned out because it's way too much work for any one person, especially doing it part time. Now, some of us might have the luxury of being able to put their all into this, but let's be honest, most people don't. Um, and of course, you have to know how to run social media. So all those things are just tedious and really time consuming. So bring in Wonder AI, that's where we come into play with Wonder AI with using automation. You can create thousands of products with AI by turning on a switch, essentially. The AI is going to create your headlines, your captions, your descriptions, and get those products marketed and uh, displayed on the different marketplace platforms, whether it's Amazon, Shopify, Etsy, Google Shopping, Instagram Shopping, you name it, you can probably get your products in there. Then you can also generate organic traffic just by having so many listings out there in, you know, on, the, on the websites. Uh, and on social media, so you can connect your Instagram, Facebook. And if you don't have one, you can always just create one and then start growing on social media that way. And best of all, guys, it's low maintenance. You get to focus on what really matters, which is the customers, because you'll have so much more time to devote to other parts of your business to really help it grow and reach its full potential. Whereas Bruce, he doesn't have that time to kind of give his customers and his brand the extra time that he needs. So what exactly can be automated with Wonder AI? A lot of different things, product designs, descriptions, mock-ups, uh, publishing those products. Um, of course, we go through a print on demand vendor, which means no inventory on your end. So once an order is made on your website or your platform, Printify, companies like Printify get the order and they send it off to the customers. You don't have to worry about that. Social media posting around the clock and then listing your products on the different marketplaces other than just a traditional website. So let's go ahead and take a demo of Wonder 2.0 because you guys are actually in luck because we just released our 2.0 system, which makes it a lot easier for you guys. So let me go ahead and pull up the dashboard that all of our customers receive and we'll go from there. Any questions so far? No, I mean, uh, the thing yeah. I, uh, for me, I was just about to say, um, I find the, uh, it's the, it's the marketing side of it, I find, which is where I would, uh, you know, find it difficult i'd say and and something you've got to try and like you said dedicate your time to try and 
you know, get the customers to sort of come to your site. That's the area where I think a lot of people will for myself, you sort of like hit the wall on that because you think to yourself, well, okay, maybe I got ideas to print this and print this and a lot of it can be done, you know, in the background for you and shipped and things. Uh, that's all very well. But then when you've got to actually get your site to be seen by the people to be able to get those people in, that's the area I'm, I would say I'm very unsure about. Yeah, for sure. And I understand that hundred percent. Um, so that's where kind of that mass listings come into play because you can build some organic traffic that way. So say if you say if Bruce that we mentioned earlier, say he has 20 products on his store, he's only got 20 different links going back to his website. And the way SEO works is the more links you have going back to your website, the more, the better rankings you get on Google, on Amazon, things like that. So by having more listings out there, um, the odds of somebody, you know, landing on your page are, are higher. Number two is having that social automation. So being able to post on the different platforms multiple times a day with the correct ha- captions and hashtags and all that good stuff, just organically is going to put eyes on your brand. And then hopefully with those eyes come sales and then any sales you make, you can always reinvest that into doing things like paid marketing to boost your sales even more. So that's kind of the goal, right? So knowing yeah. this whole background is taken care of, now you can focus on that marketing piece uh, with the paid marketing and the organic right. marketing is kind of working it and doing its thing for you. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes, it does, yeah. Awesome. And then Nick, did you have a question? Nope, I'm good. I'm good. Awesome. So what you guys see on the screen is uh, the dashboard that all of our clients and customers get. Now, we do have two programs that we offer. We have a do-it-yourself option and a done-for-you option. Both are going to come with this dashboard with all the tools that I'm about to show you. Um, but one would just be you doing it yourself and building out the automations. And the other one would be our team fully building out everything for you and handing it back over to you. So we'll talk about those two specifically at the end. But I just want to show you some of the features first. So what we have right here is we have our Wonder University. And this is going to be the step-by-step guide on how to create all of your automations. So everything from how to um, create all the accounts you're going to need and connect those accounts, uh, how to create great products, uh, how to use these different AI platforms to actually make your workflows, social media automation, listing your products on the different marketplaces, even image upscaling and Shopify Oops, Shopify design and configuration. So this is going to be all the information you guys are going to need in order to get everything started. Now I want to take you to the workflows. These workflows are super, super helpful um, because our team has taken the time to actually map out these different products that you see before you. Um, So back in the olden days, you used to have to place a design or an image on a product to make it fit that product perfectly and the placement, everything like that. So with these workflows... Um, basically you, you take a look here and you see what products you want to automate. We have, you know, dozens of products for you guys to choose from. Uh, we have hoodies, you know, some that place images on the front, some that are more all over, like you see the leggings and things like that. So let's just say, for example, you wanted to automate a hoodie with a logo on the chest. All you got to do is click on launch product. Then it'll take you right into our automation platform. So this is our software right here, and this is the automation for that hoodie. So I'll break through step-by-step how we get that new hoodie. Um, For the sake of time, I would have to actually log into each of these uh, circles. So I'm just going to pull up one that I already logged into. It's the same thing for the hoodie um, like that. So let's start from step one. So step one is to connect to our AI art generator. This is the AI that's going to create our designs. So I have Dolly 3 connected right here. And then all you do is simply input a prompt for the type of design you're looking for. So as you can see, mine is pretty intricate. It's pretty detailed. Um, But when it comes to prompting, you can be whatever you want. It can be something simple like abstract art, something a little more specific like mine, or something wild and crazy like two cats on the moon playing tennis. You know, whatever it is you're looking for for your designs, you just prompt it it that way. So Dolly 3 is going to make a design based on that prompt. Next, we're going to get our title and our description from ChatGPT. Um, you just give it a simple prompt for the title. Mine is think of a made up name for a superhero. It can be male or female. So ChatGPT is going to take that prompt and make me a title every time. 
Same thing with my description. All I do is put in a description prompt. I said, create a product description for a hoodie. Include some certain keywords that I pulled from my original design prompt, just to make it kind of more, um, kind of connect a little more. And then I said, make it 400 characters or less and add some hashtags at the end. So there's my uh, description prompt. So now that I have the three main things ready to go for my listing, now it's time to connect to my print on demand vendor. So I have Printify connected right here to gather all the information we got in the last three steps. Then right here is where we actually start making the product. Now, what makes those workflows so helpful is that as you can see, the hoodie is already selected. I have the different uh, sizes and colors and I can always change the price to whatever I wanna sell my product for. And then this right here is the print area or the placement of that image. So as you can see, um, these numbers may be a little confusing, but just know that this mapping is set to go on the chest of that hoodie uh, set perfectly for that. You can always adjust these numbers a little bit and our course will show you how to do that. But nine times out of 10, it's gonna be perfect as long as you select the correct product in, in the workflows. So that's where that part takes place. Then lastly, uh, you just wanna to connect to any storefronts or any uh, platforms that you wanna sell your products on. So right here, I have our Shopify store connected to upload the title, descriptions, any images and things like that. And let's just say I also wanted to connect to Etsy, for example. I can type in Etsy. I can connect my account and then I can set my tags and everything specifically for Etsy. Um, same thing with all the other store platforms. So once they're connected, uh, they're going to be ready to go. That way, every time you make a new product, it's going to upload that product on all those different marketplaces at the same time. And then same thing, if I wanted to add an Instagram connection, I can always connect to Instagram and it can make a post of my products. Uh, in this particular example, it would make a post of like a mock-up of, of one of my products. And then I can set my captions and the different things for Instagram. Same thing for Facebook, same thing for Pinterest, et cetera. So there's a lot you can do with these automations. They're meant to be very um, customizable. Um, so you can always have a lot of different automations going for different things, um, for different products. There's really no limitation on how many automations you can have for, for this. So I know that was a lot of information, but hopefully the flow of it made sense. If not, any questions? Hey, for me, yes. I mean, I, for me, it, the flow is really good. I like the way you put that together because it makes it very like, yes, you need this. Yes, you need this. Yes, you need this. And then you get to the point where you say, okay, this is where we can now put it onto, like you say, Etsy or, or any other per, uh, platform. Uh, what about the market inside of that then? So when you put it on the platform, say, for instance, if we've got yourself Instagram or Facebook or whatever like that, uh, that would be like a business account. It wouldn't be a personal account, would it? And, yep. uh, and if, you, if you had a business account, that means you've got to then back again, like I said, the market inside of it. You have to try and promote your pla your um, products on, 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 your, on your shop, basically. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, so is, is it just stop from there? You're making all the products through using AI, get to the point where you actually put it onto the platform. Um, and uh, what happens from there then? What happens from there? Um, I'm not sure if I quite understand your question. Uh, maybe I'll try and explain. So once we've gone and marketed it and it's actually out on the platform, the market inside of it, that's another thing, isn't it? You know, because mm -hmm. you've got, so is there any other marketing stuff you do from an AI point of view? Or is, um, is as there... far as any paid ads, no. Like even with our company, our business, we do all, our, all of our ads manually just because there still needs to be that human element to yeah. our ads. Yeah, um, course, but, yeah. but that's the hope is that yeah. all this is taken care of only thing that's left is that marketing piece so then you guys can devote your time to that yeah yeah you've removed you removed all of this getting together to get in all the product together yeah now i can see that's where the speed is now yeah. yeah because you're you're absolutely right because you focus on trying to put the product together and i mean before you were literally trying to invent everything you know trying to make yeah. the t-shirt now all that's become easier you've got to yeah. focus on the marketing side of it yeah and the marketing and side of it is the key as well and, and make no mistake, 
all these steps may seem pretty simple, but you'd be doing all these steps for every single product you make every single time. If you yeah, exactly. do it manually, right? Yeah. Yeah. Especially if you're on... yeah. Uh, excuse me to interrupt you, but your prompts yeah. and stuff, all that takes a lot of time to be able to understand yeah. how to put that together, especially the type of shirts you're making and things like that. So ask mm -hmm. it to make that. You have to th really think about what you're going to put down. Yeah, and like you said, 100%. you do that for every product. And then you've got to know if right. that product is the right one for people to buy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But the cool thing is once the automation is set in place, yeah, it's just maintaining it from there, right? Yeah. So uh, Nick, did you have any questions? You might you might get to this later, so I might be putting the cart before the horse, but is this platform something where I would preload all of my designs already? Or is this something where a customer can come on and design their own custom design or does it do both yeah so this example that i'm showing you is how we were how we would get some ai generated art but if you yep. already have some designs that you want to incorporate um you can definitely do that and in our course we show you step by step how to do that so this section right here integrating pre-made designs into your workflows so the same way that the ai created my image you can just plug in your image that you already have that you want to put on a shirt or whatever it may be. And it'll yep. go through the rest of the process the same way. Yeah. Oh, so if Johnny, Johnny wants to create his own custom sweatshirt, he can come on here, put all his specs in. And then now does your company print this stuff or is this the technology that I give them to my printers? Like the artwork files are done. Yeah, our work files are done. In this example that I showed you, we're connected to Printify. So Printify is going to make the product and send it out. And um, Printify is a company in the U.S. somewhere? Yep, U.S., Canada, Europe, Australia. And they do, they do one-piece minimums? Um, it, It's print-on-demand. So whenever somebody orders that T-shirt from your shop, yeah. they just print one that piece. shirt. Oh, ah, mm -hmm. cool. Yep. Okay. Yep. So with that being said, the... The margins are a little less because it's sure. just one by one, but there is a way to do a bulk option. So even if you wanted to have inventory yourself, you can you can still do that at, at a lower cost. Okay, I'm following you. Yep, cool. So enough waiting. Let's go ahead and run the automation and get our new product. So in the bottom left, I can see a run once button. So I can click that and it begins the process of making that new image or that new product for me. So right now it's creating my design based on my prompt. Then in about 15 seconds, we'll have it ready to go. Um, it's cool because you get to actually see it work in real time. So you just imagine some people with some some cyber elves just, you know, <laughs> using yeah. the little hammers to exactly. get the product together. Exactly, yeah. So now, boom. So that's all done. Took about 10 seconds, actually. So not too shabby for just waiting yeah. around for a little bit. Now, what's cool is I was able to do that in 10 seconds. But the cool thing is you can set this on a schedule to run as often as you want. So you can set it at different intervals, different increments of time. So the quickest that any one automation can run is every minute. So essentially, if I were to leave this on for an hour at every minute, I'd have 60 brand new unique hoodies. Wow. And the cool thing about AI generated art is that it's designed to create a new image every single time. So even if I use the same prompt a thousand times, it's going to give me a thousand different results. So if you find a prompt that you like, feel free to make some variations. Um, just to give your customers more options and have more listings out there for that. So when it made its way through the automation, it populated some information about my product. So this is the title right here, Vortex Velocity. So if we go to our store, we can go ahead and find that. This is the hoodie I made in the last demonstration. So there's our AI generated image. Really there is cool. a logo that we have placed on the back of every hoodie. Um, so this one was called uh, Galaxy Guardians. So if we go back a page... That was the last one I made. So if I refresh, we should have that new one. Refresh. Okay. Give it a couple more seconds to get uploaded yeah. Yeah, onto sure. the website. Sometimes it takes a second to get on yeah. the website physically. <clears throat> but as you can see, we got some backpacks and things. And yeah, all the cool. images on the front are all different, as you can see as well. There we go. Vortex Velocity right there. So there's our new one. Uh, there's a new image. There's our static image on the back. There's a couple mock-ups. 
Uh, how we did the W like that is we just put a mask or a filter on it. That way it just gets displayed in that W. Um, but there's our listing. There's our title. Nice description. Got some hashtags there. So this this product is all ready to go. It's ready to be bought right now. Uh, so just like that, I got a new product. So any questions? No, I think that's really cool. Yep. Cool. Yeah, I like that. So now is when I typically show some examples of current clients and students of ours that use the same system. So here's an art gallery. They sell art art canvases, uh, physical and digital products for that. So as you can see, it's just very intricate designs. It's nice and colorful. Really pops off the page. Yeah, very nice. So we'll click on a collection. As you can see, this person, I, I don't know for a fact, but I would assume they use the same prompt for each one of these in this collection, but they're all very different. So definitely a lot of variety to choose from. I like this one a lot. I like the purple and the, and the red and the pink. So here's his listing. He's got the different mock-ups, different size options, as well as a digital option. So you can just print it off. So just some really cool artwork overall. Very nice. Uh, that was one of our done for uh, do it yourself students. So they got the course, they learned how to do these automations, and they applied what they learned. Now this next store is one of our done for you clients. So we built the website, we built the product automations, um, everything that you see before you. So just some really cool artwork on the t-shirts. Some of the text that you see was done through Dolly Three. Um, others was just done on Canva manually, and then we were able to layer that for this, this client. Uh, even made them a logo that we could layer on some things. Uh, so let's go and see. They have men's and women's t-shirts, duffel bags, backpack shoes, wallet, etc. So this store has a lot of different options. Um, one thing I really like is the color options that they have. Yeah, nice. So they got these different colors. So just overall a really cool store, really cool brand. Right there with some different mockups. So cool. Um, but yeah, that's just a, a couple things, uh, a couple ways you can go about building your business, um, whether you do the do it yourself or the done for you option. So, any questions before we hop into the pricing options? What's the situation with copyright and stuff like that? Um, yeah, so the way AI generated art is set up at the moment is anything that's made under your account, you have the rights to that image. Um, of course, if you go into the territory of, you know, using trademarked images or characters or something like that, you just want to be careful about that kind of stuff because you can yeah. um, get some trouble coming your way. Yeah, sure. But if it's all original stuff, then you should be good. Yeah. Okay. So awesome. this this Printify company or whatever, you know, like they did the canvas. Is that does that Printify as well? Yep. So this they, company prints a lot of different things, huh? Oh yeah, they have they have about seven hundred different product types or product options. Wow. So, yeah. Yep. yeah, they're very good. Printify is good. Yeah. So on our workflows that I showed you, we have about a hundred different products or so. Oh yeah. So we have pretty much the, the top 100 that most people sell. Um, and we're adding new new products every month. But theoretically, you can automate any product that Printify offers. So you could just look at the... If you see something on here, or if you don't see something on here that you wanted to automate, you can still manually set up the automation for it um, and get that, that placement right. Um, and the course will show you how to do how to do that. So let's say that I wanted to do, I don't know, a shower curtain. That's not on here, but Printify offers that. So then I would just build a workflow out for that shower curtain. Makes sense? Crazy. Cool. So here is the do-it-yourself option. Uh, so if you want access to the system and the different automations, this would be the way to go. Um, it gives you varying levels of automations per month. So at the top end, you can do 10,000 operations or more. Um, and you get all the products, product workflows and some Shopify themes, which are website templates. So if you're a little worried about um, building a storefront, 
we have these templates that you can use and you can always edit them to fit your style and your taste and things like that. And then the premium plan comes with the Wonder University. Now, with these other two plans, you're still able to have access to the automations. You just wouldn't have the full course breakdown on everything. So the pricing is $9 a month, $29 a month, or $39 a month, respectively, uh, for the do-it-yourself option. So any questions on how that works? You have to pay the billing says for the year, then you have to pay up front for the year, not monthly. It's not like a, a subscription per month. You're paying the bill in one year. No, no, it, it is monthly. It's just saying that at the end of the year, you would have uh, spent. I would have spent that. All right, just to, just yeah. to be clear. Okay. Okay, that's yeah. actually very good. Cool. So that's the do it yourself option. Now, the done for you option typically requires a second call just because every business owner is different. Everybody's needs are different. So we want to make sure we get you a quote that's right for you. That's that's fair and things like that. But we have a one product option, a multi product option and an enterprise option. Now, all these options do come with the Wonder Flow, which is this one right here, the premium plan. Uh, so you still have access to all the course and all the different workflows. Um, the main difference here is just the product automations that our team sets up for you, uh, as well as there's no social media or other marketplaces other than Shopify for these first two, but you get the full build out of everything with this enterprise option. And just to give you an idea, like of a range, you'd be looking at 2,500 all the way up to, you know, seven to 10,000, just depending on um, what you need. Uh, but we do have monthly options available for that. So you can get it for as low as 200 a month or, you know, seven, 800 a month, depending on that. Uh, but again, it just requires a second call to get exactly what you need. Uh, quoted those for you. But in, those months that you just said that was a yearly total, right? Yes. Or, or it's really just one time total. Yeah. Yeah. 2,500 for the year for the little one you said, maybe. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So a lot of people, they, they, that want to do a done for you option, but might not have, you know, everything in order to do the bigger option. Um, this will at least get your entire platform, your website built out and everything like that. And then with the wonderful premium access, you can always just add other products down the line. Um, and you get uh, training and support. So you get actually one-on-one -on -one training from our team. Uh, so they can give you that kind of like one-on-one -on -one help towards, you know, building out more stuff. And we get your logo and a custom Shopify store. Oh, makes sense. Any questions? I like the the more you know the uh, more expensive one. It says the full social uh, media automation. Uh, so basically, you're going to actually help us um, market this then. Um, market from a non-paid marketing aspect. So getting posts out there on the different platforms. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, targeted posts. You know, using the correct captions and hashtags and things like that. Yeah, sure. So, so as in, as in, actually getting to the point where we can start seeing some sort of uh, selling, you know, and, and yeah. revenue start to flow. If yeah. You went for the more expensive. Well, all of these will probably get to the point where you will actually see some return, you know, from selling the products. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's so like typically, um, if you're doing everything right, whether it's do it yourself or done for you, um, organically you should start to see some growth. Uh, at about month two or three, because by then the algorithm has had time to work. Oh, yeah. um, maybe your followers have gone up on the social platforms, uh, more eyes have been on your page, things like that. Um, so they typically start seeing like the, you know, an uptrend around month two or two or three. And then with the money that they've earned, you know, from those, those months, they can then reinvest it into ads. And then that's when the ball really starts to get rolling. Yeah. And you start to see some real results. Yeah, sure. And then also, I suppose you'll start seeing what products are becoming favorable to sell and things like that. Yeah, in yeah. Parts of the in time of year and all that stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. like for example, if if on Shopify we we see because you can you you see all these metrics on Shopify. Yeah. Um. So if if we see that you know the t-shirts and the hats and the hoodies are doing really well, but the shoes and backpacks or whatever aren't doing that well, we might try to double down on these products that are working. Yeah. Try to revamp some things. Um, so for the first year of your business, we would manage your store, meaning anything you want added or taken away, or maybe there's a holiday coming up and you want to cater some products to that, our team will go ahead and do that for you. Now, after that first year, 
the business will be fully yours. We're not going to manage anything unless you want us to. At that point, right. we can um, kind of settle to like a, a yearly. I'm looking for a word. I can't think no, of what I'm looking for. You retainer. No there you go. I retainer. retainer. Yeah, retainer. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah, exactly. Just for management okay. purposes. Okay. All right. That's interesting to know. Okay. Yep. So, what are you guys' do you thoughts any, on on either? Do you have any or... idea on um, like what the turn time is for like a T-shirt or something? Like how when a kit guy places an order, how how long does it take to get to someone's house? Yeah. So each. So I, let's take a T-shirt for example. So Printify is a hub for a lot of different providers. So they might have a few different merchants for a T-shirt, um, and they're all different, right? So maybe okay. one t-shirt the production manufacturing time is like on average 1.2 days i think for one of the t-shirts um and then shipping time is like three to five days so Got it. overall you're looking at three to six days for like a t-shirt right. some of these other products though like a duvet cover a car seat cover sometimes those production time takes like two to four days and then you got to add the, the shipping time on top of it but for a lot of these really popular items the production is relatively quickly and then um, it's not Amazon next day, of course, but um, no, no, it's not no, too that's bad. all good. 